Krakatoa and Max 2.6 adds a number of random operators. One of them is the uniform random operator, and we'll take a look how this could be used. We'll create a PT maker, we'll turn off the fractal option, and this gives us 100,000 particles in the viewport, all placed at the 000. zero, zero. So we'll uh, change this to 10,000 particles, and uh, this PT maker already has a magma which sets the color and the emission to a, a blend of two colors. We'll change it to use the random value that is generated by the PAT maker, but this is unrelated to the random operators. We'll create a new magma, set the position output, and set the VEC uniform random, which is the new operator introduced in 2.6. And we we'll use the ID channel, but it doesn't exist in the PAT maker, so instead we'll switch it to index uh, to control the seed. If we update, we'll get a cube with random positions between 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1 because the minimum and maximum are set to 0 and 1. So if we manipulate those, the corners of the cube will be changed correspondingly. So it's a different range of random values. But all three sides along the x, y, and z are always uh, the same length. We can switch this operator to the uniform random, which reduces a float. So we'll have to convert it to a vector. And that gives us random positions only along the x. And if we connect to the y and to the z, we're getting a diagonal with the same random values along each axis because we're using exactly the same seed. In order to create a plane of random values along the x and y, we'll have to copy and paste, preserving the connections, another random uniform. We'll connect it to the y and we'll have to shift its seed in order to avoid the diagonal. We'll have to add an integer uh, with a value of, let's say, 1, and this will give us uh, an offset seed, so x and y will be producing a different value. We can copy uh, those operators once again and connect another uniform random to the z, and so we'll have to change the addition, otherwise we're getting a diagonal plane. We'll have to change the addition uh, to integer 2, and that gives us a unique value for the z-axis also. Now, uh, this is similar to the VEC uniform random, but uh, we have individual control over the ranges along the X, Y, and Z axis. So we can produce an uh, um, object that doesn't have uh, the same size along the X, Y, and Z. But if we wanted this, we can connect an input value to the minimum, for example, to two or all three uniform random operators. So now the minimum is always the same value for all three. And if we do the same for the max, another input value with the floating point value of one connected to the max of the second and the third also, uh, this is the equivalent of the VEC uniform random. We are changing either value, the minimum or the maximum, uh, is going to change all three axes at once. And so we are still producing a cube, but we have individual control over the randomness of each axis, so we can create those diagonal planes, or we can shift the random seed for each one of the axes and uh, change the random distribution. For example, here we can increase the offset of the third axis, and that changes the result. So uh, using three uniform random operators is more flexible than a single VEC uniform random, but both can be used to set random positions.